we have randomized 2,500 patients and uh, in the, all these trials, and still the difference in between the two treatment groups is very small. So basically, we could not prove that there is a reason to skip intravenous thrombolysis in all these patients. However, the benefit of the bridging thrombolysis is very tiny and very small. In the IRIS collaboration, there was so far no clear subgroup which had a major benefit of either direct mechanical thrombectomy or bridging thrombolysis. However, we will perform further subgroup analysis in order to see whether there are patients who have a benefit either of direct mechanical thrombectomy or bridging thrombolysis. Yeah, the issue we are looking at right now is that um, we are doing a study. We were doing six trials and now we're doing the meta-analysis. And what we are trying to do is look whether there is still a, a benefit of the intravenous treatments. Um, and, and, and for getting rid of a treatment, um, the, stati the statistics are, um, much more complex, but they, 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 um, uh, the statistics for, for non-inferiority makes it also harder to get rid of, uh, let's say a standard treatment, which is already there. And that's because we are much more afraid of, of losing a treatment, which was proven effective in the past. Um, and you're afraid of, of losing that because of, of your, you're doing your study and you're doing your meta-analysis and you, you're getting the wrong answer. So you, you want to be very sure that you are quite, you, you're absolutely certain that you can get rid of this, this proven effective treatment. So the statistics for a, a non-inferiority design are different than for a superiority design. So. Let's imagine that the world around, let's imagine that, that, um, that we would have at first uh, endovascular treatments and that right now somebody would come along and say, hey, I have a potent drug, which is a lytic drug, and uh, you should add it to endovascular treatments. Um, if that would have happened and we would have used the normal statistics, like we always do, the 5% confidence limit and uh, the 95% confidence limit and 5% difference, and then we would have ended up with six trials showing no uh, beneficial effects of of the intravenous thrombolysis. We would have done the meta analysis, which have shown the same results, no beneficial effect of thrombolysis, and we would have never added intravenous thrombolysis to the standard treatment of endovascular treatments. But now the world is around. The world is that we have the standard treatment which is the combination, and with with the current current trials and with the current meta analysis, we can't say that the combination treatments. Um, uh, of let's say we can't say that direct endovascular treatment uh, is as good as 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 uh, having the combination treatments. Um, so we we have to stick to the to the standard treatment, which is the combination. That's that's the real world.